Hi guys, I'm here with my friend Purple today and I'm going to be showing you some curling basics using a spring-loaded iron because this is usually what you guys find in like the drugstore, okay? Hope you find this video helpful. Make sure to take even small sections. Just It makes it easier for you to work on yourself and just keeps everything clean so you don't miss anything. Remember that the hair closest to your root is your healthiest hair. And then closer to the end is the hair that's most susceptible to damage. So you have to remember when you're curling your hair, start the curling in the middle of the shaft and then work your way downwards. What I like to do is I like to pull the end around the barrel and then turn it up and then slowly unclamp on the way down. And I just continue that until I get to the ends. Because the ends take the least amount of time to curl. If you have really healthy hair, like it hasn't been colored before and it's just like that really resistant type of hair, to get the curl to hold, you have to have some sort of product in it, whether you use mousse or hairspray, and then you can curl it afterwards. Otherwise, it's not gonna hold. Other than that, as long as you have a really good hot curling iron, it should pretty much last the rest of the day. Remember that when you're feeding the hair through and you're bringing the hair around, that the hair lies flat and that you're not twisting it like this because then you're just completely changing the, the curl pattern altogether and it just ends up looking kind of funky. When trying to decide between using a flat iron or a curling iron, I prefer curling irons because usually the curls come out more uniform whereas with flat iron some of them look really really curly and then some of them look completely flat and it also tugs on the roots too much which is actually really bad for your hair another thing is i know some of you like to flat iron your hair first and then curl it it's really not a good idea because the heat from the irons what it's doing is it's breaking bonds in your hair and it's shaping them and then when the hair cools it keeps that shape now when you flat iron it the bonds are in a flat shape. So then when you try to curl it again afterwards, it's just not gonna take that new shape and it's just not gonna last for the rest of the day. So if your hair has already been straightened, what you can do is you can mist your hair with water, which will reset the bonds. So then you can go back in with the curling iron. Now, if you want that really big, luscious, kind of Victoria's Secret hair, what you do is you take the hair and you try to get really close to the root and pull it like over direct it so that when it falls, it kind of has like a, like a little bit of height. And all the hair underneath here will support the hair on top and that's what gives everything that push. Although what I do have to say is that it doesn't, this sort of look does not really work on people with hair that's all sort of like one length. You need those layers because every, like if the hair on top is too long, it's heavy and it weighs everything else down. So the layers will break up with curls and it'll give it more of like that big voluminous look. This is where it gets really important. Right at the crown of the head, that's where we want most of the volume. So you always over direct the hair in the opposite direction that it falls. So if it falls down this way, over direct this way and curl for maximum lift. So now I'm going to show, show and tell, tell and show. So lift it up, get the barrel underneath the hair and the clamp on top. And then it's the same thing again. Your hair's like steaming, <laughs> but be careful not to burn your scalp. Now when the hair falls, she has a little bit of lift right here. And then do that all the way around. Right? And then here's the last curl. It looks crazy, but let the hair cool down first so that the curl can take its place. And then when it's cool, like it is now, just run your hands through or you can run a brush through it. Personally, I like to use my hands. Or I like to go like this. Or you could do like, do, do the, the head thing. Shake it. Shake your head out, shake it out. So you get these like really pretty, like bouncy curls. And what you do is if you have a lot of like really frizzy or loose flyaways, it takes a little bit of serum in your hands. I can't find mine right now. And then just loosely run it through. So then all the ends kind of 
are a little bit more uniform and aren't like sticking out all over the place. And then lastly, if you want, hairspray. Just really like, so you don't want it to be like crunchy and cakey. And then also a little bit at the roots as well for a little extra lift. And then for some of you who think this might be a little bit too much, what you can do is get like a spray bottle with a fine mist and then just spray your hair really gently. The water will take down like 30% of the volume. Just really lightly. Just don't get too crazy with the water though. You don't want to get rid of the curl like completely. All right, and that's the final look. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>